Today's video is in response to a comment that was made on another video. So I'm going to read the comment and I'm going to help this person out the best I can. And if you have any suggestions for this person, please leave a comment because I think they're looking for some guidance here. So I'm going to read through the comment. It says, hi, I am a seventh grader. All the mass textbooks such as Blitzer, Spivak and Stewart are sold at an atrocious price in my country. Their PDFs are, however, are available. Do you have any tips for me? I have no intentions of joining Mass as a research slash professor. Instead, I am focusing more on my physics. I would like to start learning physics as soon as I can. Should I instead go with Khan Academy or the series of textbooks followed in my country? Enserts, capital N C E R T is the name of the series. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, thank you so much for that comment. Really great comments. Uh, seventh grader really impressive to be looking that far ahead and preparing for physics uh, and i don't know where you're at with your math level right now i don't know if you've been uh, if you're just at grade level or if you are in a little bit of a more advanced track but i'm guessing you're in some sort of advanced track because you're talking about blitzer and stewart books like blitzer is college algebra i don't know if blitzer has a calculus book i don't know of it if if he does but the uh, stewart calculus and the other author you mentioned is also calculus so you're looking ahead here and that's really impressive so the i have a lot of suggestions so i don't know if you're looking for the free route of trying to learn math for free because you said that these textbooks that you wanted are sold at a high price uh, and you just said the pdfs are available i don't know what that means whether it's like you found a free pdf which i don't know if those books are available for free or if you can buy the ebook for a cheaper price so my suggestion, first of all, if you, these PDFs that you're talking about, if you could find the ebook and it's cheaper, I would probably go with just getting those ebooks for cheap. I, I don't know what your price point is, but if they're a relative cheap price, I would go with those textbook as your number one source. Uh, and I'm going to talk about some free options here, but if you're going to pay something, I would pay for those textbooks, at least for the ebook. Um, physical, definitely the one that I would prefer. But if you need something and you're looking for a cheap option, try to get those authors as the uh, ebook. And I do have uh, Blitzer's College Algebra right here. Let me just grab this real fast. If you're at that level where you are ready for College Algebra, because you might need some intermediate algebra if you're in seventh grade. So you might need to buy something like that. So here's Blitzer's College Algebra book. Really great book. I love Blitzer. I've talked about Blitzer before on the channel. Um, but if you are still needing before college algebra you need a little bit of some algebra reinforcement should have got these books out uh here's the intermediate algebra this is by uh, elaine martin gay another amazing book definitely suggest that book so uh, i'm not sure what level you're at but let's pretend like you are at that point where you can find those books for super cheap as an ebook and not really a physical book because i know the physical books are probably going to be more expensive and i don't know what country you're in or w where you're from where they're not really available so i don't know i don't know what your best option is on that side but if you can get those ebooks now some free options though if you don't want to pay anything i would go get uh get on openstax 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 is a great option I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with OpenStax as a teacher because there's not a lot of resources as a teacher to take advantage of. You have the book. It's all You can buy the physical book. I have I taught Calc 1 and Calc 2 with OpenStax, and I have them right here. Uh, so here's the volume 1. This is Calc 1, OpenStax. So you can buy the physical, but they're 100% they're free online. Uh, you could download it on your phone like right now. <laughs> While you're watching this video, it takes two seconds. Just go to OpenStax.com. But you can get algebra pre-algebra algebra elementary algebra intermediate algebra college algebra stats trig calc 1 calc 2 calc 3 uh, and i think they do have even a physics option for their uh their as an option for you once you get to that point so if you're looking to do physics you're going to need to do calculus uh, depending on how advanced you get into physics like you can do some physics without calculus but you're really going to look at some surface level content so you want to know calculus at some point in order to really understand physics and get into the really deep stuff with physics but you can do some of it without you can buy like little workbooks like i have a i don't have it over here right now i don't think let me double check yes i do 
Uh, I bought this little self-teaching guide for basic physics. It's not the greatest book ever, but it's something. It was like $10 on Amazon. Uh, so it's it's really, really, really surface level physics. It's not anything complicated. It's not a very good book. But if you have ability to download OpenStax or get on the OpenStax website, I would definitely go that route of getting on OpenStax. So that's your best free option. Again, you have all of the math that you could ever want. Uh, you have the books, you have solutions to the... I don't think they have solutions to every single problem as a student. Um, you just get the odds just like any other textbook. But that's a great option. It's published. It's a full... like. There's a team of people that made it. It's a very good book most of the time. Uh, I do have my complaints, again, as more of a teacher standpoint of there's not a lot of resources available for me to give the students. Like there's really no online programming, like how Pearson does have, they have like the my lab. So it's not really that, but that's okay. Um, as a student, if you're just looking to learn, it has lessons, it has all the content, it has exercises, it has everything you need and it's completely free. So that'd be my go-to. Some other free options, you know, YouTube is good, but the problem with YouTube is there's no structure to it. Uh, you could watch a thousand videos, you know, but like it, there's not really an order to it or making sure that like, all right, this content correlates to this. I got to understand this problem and then this problem. And you can find playlists on different people's website or different people's YouTube channels. But still, again, like you're not getting exercises. You're not giving that feedback of do you understand it or not. You're just kind of watching. So that's good for lessons, though, finding some YouTube channels that are specific to what you're trying to learn. Um, and really outside of that, some free options is just really cheap options, trying to find just something online like a used book for really, really cheap off of Amazon or any sort of used store that you can find that sells like you could even get old. The nice thing about math is you can get old books that have all the same types of knowledge, like, for example, like just this random calculus book. Like, I think this calculus book right here is from uh, this, this one's from 1940s. It's from 1940s. It was like five bucks from 1940s. And it's almost identical to a textbook today. Yeah, the explanations aren't as great. Uh, there's not a bunch of visuals or anything, but it's something. It's a calc book. Uh, people learned it in the 40s with this calc book. So people can learn it today with this calc book. Like you don't need all these crazy visuals and everything if you really want to learn. Uh, so that's an option. Like just buy something, something used, something old, something where if you if you need some sort of book and you can do that with anything. Like I even have old algebra books here. Like I have a old algebra book. I think this one's even older. I think this is from like early 1900s maybe even older let's see what does it say uh, i can't find a date 1905 yeah so that's again it has all the same knowledge that you would have in an algebra book so open stacks if you're looking purely free and then you mentioned khan academy so i was saving this for the end because <clears throat> khan academy again is free so that's another free option I personally have not gone through any sort of Khan Academy lessons or anything like that. I've stumbled on Khan Academy looking for an explanation to specific things like when preparing lessons or when I was learning math topics like just, oh, here's an example of this topic like disk method or shell method or just any sort of derivative that I'm trying to find, you know, like anything that I was just stuck on at the time when I was learning calculus or just trying to prepare something. So Khan Academy, I just I try to stay away from Khan Academy because you need to know specific content to what you need to know, right? You, you want to go into physics, so you have to learn topics that are going to help you with physics. And Khan Academy, I, I just don't see that being an option where you can go through the whole process and it benefit you in terms of what you absolutely need to know. Um, so I would just go through textbooks is my go-to route. Just go through textbooks, go through OpenStax, buy a really, really cheap book somewhere and just learn that way. And I don't know your starting point. I kind of wish I did because you said you're in seventh grade. I don't know if that means that you're at seventh grade level or if you're a little bit higher where you already know algebra. So if you do need to learn algebra, you got to know some intermediate algebra which again, uh, the Martin Elaine Gay, you could probably find an old copy, pretty, pretty cheap, or you can use OpenStax. And then you got to learn college algebra, you got to learn trig, uh, and then you got to get into calculus. But <clears throat> last thing I'll say as I close this video off, 
Um, I would just jump into it. Just find a starting point somewhere and just jump into it. Camera's kind of blurry. If you want to learn physics, get some sort of physics book. Start looking through it. See, what do you know? What do you not know? Like, what, what topics are they talking about? What math formulas are they pulling from? What math knowledge do you need? And just start looking through it. You don't have to master it right there, but just start flipping through it. Just start looking like, okay, like they talk about this. This is interesting. Start to try to learn something from there. And then once you hit that point where you're like, oh, like I don't really understand this. And then try to figure out like where, what weaknesses am I having? Especially if you have some sort of math background already. Um, but if you're just starting at the ground level right now, then you might want to work through a little bit of some math, especially college algebra and then get into physics like i wouldn't go through calc 1 calc 2 calc 3 and then jump into physics i would just make sure college algebra and trig like you might want to establish some sort of foundation there and then you can jump into some physics and try to see what you know what you don't know in terms of math and you can get a lot of physics knowledge without calculus but if you really want to master physics you, you probably want some calc knowledge so giving you some options here hope it stacks old books, cheap books, and uh, just kind of being resourceful. So hope this helps you out. Good luck. Keep me posted. I'm really curious to see uh, what path you go down and how this works out. And uh, I don't know anything about that program that you mentioned, um, inserts. Not sure what that is. I looked into it a little bit, but couldn't really get a firm idea of what topics are covered and what level. There's like 15 levels or something crazy. There's a lot of textbooks, so I didn't really get to look through all of them, but uh, that could be an option if, if you know what uh, is going to be taught in those types of courses. So hope this helps. Thanks again for the comment.